Hi, this is Myra with Holly Pulley's Everyday Ayurveda and Yoga podcast. I imagine many of you are making some changes right now, and we're making some changes to the podcast. We have some new formats this year, and we look forward to sharing them with you. Happy New Year to everybody. It's a time of transition and change. With all this talk about change and improving our lives, I've been thinking of change as more about stepping into our lives. This is what people are usually talking about when they say they want to make a change. Uh, perhaps there is something that you've always wanted to do and never gotten to, or you've been thinking of a change in career, or having a dinacharya, a daily routine that supports your life that you do every day. What most people are also saying is that they want to live what they believe. It feels so good to live what you believe, but many people struggle to really know what they believe. You know, when we move so fast in life, we're skimming the surface and we often don't slow down enough to pay attention to what's happening with ourselves on the inside. And that's where the real deal is. It's the roots of our thinking and then our behavior and our living. A lot of people were walking through life operating unconsciously from their programmed beliefs. And it becomes really apparent when it seems like we can't make any changes or we just keep repeating the same unwanted patterns. In order to build a life based on your truth, you have to go inward and examine what's influencing your decisions, your beliefs. This is really important in understanding yourself. Your truth is on the inside. It's your connection to eternal spirit and it's something that never changes. And everything else is changeable, including our beliefs. Think of beliefs as ideas that we've acquired in life and decisions that we make about those ideas. Some are acquired from our parents, our home environment, and some from our other life experience. Some might be positive and some might be detrimental. But no matter what, as you walk through life, you can become aware of what is there so that you can choose to keep a belief or to let it go completely. Often, they're not yours, but they're just what you've been given that you didn't realize was there. I've heard so many stories about people getting married and finding out they had a whole set of beliefs operating about marriage and relationship that they didn't know they had. Anytime you're in a new situation, those latent beliefs will pop out in our day-to-day -day living. I had this experience myself. I found myself thinking, did I just say that? Or I can't believe I just said that. Where did that come from? These situations are a great opportunity to learn about your inner world and to clean things up so we can have our insides and our outsides match. That's when things can feel good. Being aware of your beliefs gives you the opportunity to let them go or to adjust them. Then we can adjust them to represent our truth, which makes life a lot more fun. Inside and outside in alignment. People often ask me, how do I change a belief? Well, it's a decision we make. For example, your mother may be afraid of water. So you carry a belief that water is something to be feared. And as you grow up, you may realize that the water looks like a lot of fun. And with some attention to it, you can let go of that belief and fear that's really not yours and learn how to swim. Or sometimes we have beliefs that women only do certain things or men always do some particular thing. And this kind of thinking, it narrows the mind and it affects our relationships, our ability to see another person as they truly are. We can decide to be more positive and open-minded and change will come, but it doesn't mean that we'll be perfect at it right away. It just means that we set the flow of our prana, our, our energy, our life force toward the light rather than toward darkness. 
in Ayurveda and yoga, we call this utilizing our rajas, which is our activity, to move towards sattva, which is balance and harmony and the light of life. Embodiment of our truth, being aligned inside and out, this is what allows us to heal and progress in life. This is the direction that the practices of Ayurveda and yoga are pointing us. They're tools for living a good life. To connect to your truth, go inward. Self-honesty comes with listening to what's happening inside to get an idea of what is actually going on in you. And this doesn't happen when you're running around chasing life on the outside. It happens when you make space for silence and stillness. Daily meditation helps us to become acquainted with stillness. Pranayama keeps vata dosha in balance. It reduces fear. It helps us to increase mental clarity and our calmness when vata is balanced. You can do a few minutes of asana to keep your body mobile and strong. But it's also an inward practice. Even eating in silence will help you connect inwardly. Focus on chewing thoroughly. Tasting the food so that you digest it and feel great afterwards. These are all tools that allow you to take control of your life so that you can live and be who you want to be in life. Not just operate like a robot, mechanically walking through life. And so what to do about these beliefs that you didn't know you had? Well, one way to increase your awareness is to embark on a day of mental observation. Every time there's a negative thought, become aware of it, then turn away to a positive thought about anything. Each time there's a negative thought, there's a belief that's driving it. In a quiet moment, ask yourself, what's beneath that thought? What do I believe that has me think that way? Then you can make a decision to keep that belief, adjust it, or let it go completely. It's a simple thing, but it's a big challenge. So start with one day and then take on another if you feel like it. It's a process of discovery and it does take some courage. It's change that brings empowerment to us. And then life will change. One of the really common beliefs that I hear these days is that change is a problem or that change means trouble. The fear of change creates a lot of suffering in us. And we can have the fear of change even if it's change that we want. It's something that we desire. It's happening daily. It's happening in seasons. It's happening every year. It's a primary component of life. Persistent resistance or avoidance of change creates a lot of suffering and it does lead to disease. I was thinking of a student who was convinced that she'd never be able to eat just fruit for breakfast. Her mind was conditioned to believe that she needed protein at breakfast or that she would be starving to death by lunch. And I said to her that it's just whatever her mind believes. And it clicked in her and she had fruit for breakfast and felt great. And she now has fruit a couple of times a week for breakfast. As a result, her agni is balanced and she feels lighter and she doesn't want a snack. So the belief wasn't just about the fruit, but it was about changing that idea that she had to have one particular thing, otherwise there would be a problem. We need to recognize that fears are of the mind. Another common one that's related to food is the fear of gluten or dairy and reactions to it. And people say, well, you know, I had, I had these problems. You know, if I consume that, then I have a problem. You know, in our modern thinking, we've come to blame the food and blame those things on the outside. Most of the time, it's what's on the inside. The digestive tract is disturbed 
for many reasons that we talk about in Ayurveda. And these are some things that we can change, that we have control over. So then these apparent intolerances of good food can clear up and we can enjoy many things in life. So what's the solution? Stop engaging in things that take you in the wrong direction and don't serve you. Own your space. Take responsibility for the flow of your energy and don't just match what everybody around you is doing. Go for long-term joy rather than short-term pleasure. The results are so beautiful, including freedom in the mind. So this isn't just about pampering yourself, but to do things that help you feel safe inside, to allow yourself to receive what life offers and let love in so that you can experience being love. It's simple things like go to bed 15 minutes earlier and spend five minutes in sitting meditation and the other 10 minutes eating breakfast, sitting down with your family or eating by yourself without any distractions. Notice when you're feeling rushed, take pause with 12 slow, deep breaths, and then smile to yourself with the true knowing inside that all is well. Then take that into your life. Moderation is something that we talk about a great deal in Ayurveda. And you may find it challenging, but it will be the most rewarding. Learn to do less and be more in life. Here's what we do at Halipule. It's simple. We're all learning to live in a holistic manner each day, experiencing how everything is connected in life and adjusting our beliefs and our thinking as we go. It's how we're meant to be when we feel better and better in life. We recognize how food affects us and we opt to keep that effect going in a positive direction, letting go of old beliefs based on our direct experience and choosing to go toward the light, choosing to have our prana flow. We meditate daily so that our day begins with inward connection and then we have more opportunity to behave from our truth in daily life, which increases our ability to move through difficulties and into solution. We let life unfold, shifting and expanding each step of the way. We have times of intensity and times of quiet, and they're both needed. And we keep in mind the ultimate goal to move toward and stay in the light of life. With Ayurveda and yoga, we can all come out of the shadows and step into life. Let us know how you're doing, your challenges and questions. We love to hear from you. That's all we have time for today. Until next time. Thanks for listening. As a reminder, we offer trainings and consultations that can guide you along your journey to health. If you're ready to take the next step, visit halipule.com. That's H-A-L-E-P-U-L-E dot com. For daily inspiration and to learn more about what we do, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.